Attention citizens. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Lance. All right, so we're going to check out another video by Moist Critical Penguin Zero Charlie. Now, this one's about Nikocada Avocado. Now, if you're not familiar with Nikocada Avocado, I used to do a lot of content when I first started out, like the first couple of years of this channel, reacting to Nikocada Avocado. He's a mukbanger. He's um, dramatic, to say the least. Oh, God, a character. And, uh, yeah, and recently, he's back in the news because he dropped, he was like, I don't know, 1,000 pounds? No, he was up to 300 pounds at one point. And the whole internet was like saying, Nick, you, Nico, it's not good for you to have all this weight on you. It's not good for your heart, you know. Now you see, even see Lizzo losing weight because, you know, she's tired of people calling her fatty. So she's losing the weight now. So, Nick, please lose the weight. That's what the whole Internet said. I know because I saw I, I, I heard him say it. So recently he just made this big reveal that. It was a social experiment. You guys are just peasants in his little world. He was two steps ahead, honey. He knew what he was doing. He came back. He he had lost all this weight. He went from being like 300 pounds down to like a buck 10, whatever it was. Like, like pre Nikocado avocado. Like he when he was in the vegan days, like Nikocado skinny, skin tea, skin tea. He's all of a sudden like, I couldn't believe it. So we're, we're going to talk, we're going to talk about it a little bit, uh, with Charlie here. So let's check it out. Come on. To bed really early. I was just all tuckered out. So I said, goodbye moon. And I snuggled on into bed to catch some Z's. Little did I know that while goodbye, I slumbered, moon. we'd all been paid a visit by someone very special. And I'm not talking about Santa Claus, but I am talking about another man in a red shirt. <laughs> Nikocado Avocado. I woke up this morning in a different timeline. I think we shifted back to the Berenstein Bears universe and left the Berenstain ba Bears universe behind. Two steps ahead. I am always two steps ahead. This has been the greatest social experiment for my entire life. So I am the villain because I've Beat myself one. This moment right okay, here Nick. is this generation's I am your father. This is up there with the Darth <laughs> Vader father. identity reveal. Perhaps one of the most unexpected things I've seen in quite some time. When I was watching this, I let out an audible whoa. Like I couldn't <laughs> help myself. My body responded without any other part of me having say so over it. My body itself, my soul, was shocked when he took the mask off there. So he gives like a villain monologue that sounds like it's out of the Fallout universe talking about how he's two <laughs> steps ahead because he had played the villain for so long now. Today I woke up from a very long aim. And I also woke up having Bounce. lost 250 pounds off of my body. I can't believe it. Yet just yesterday, people were calling me fat and sick and boring. Losing 250 pounds is an unbelievable feat that's that nothing is. shy of extraordinary. And he mentions how even yesterday, YouTubers and many other people were calling him sad, fat, depressing, sick, and all of that, and still making Ugly, videos yeah. about him, even while he secretly, over the course of two years, had been losing all of that weight. And all the videos that people were talking about were actually videos that Nick Akato had filmed two years prior and kept drip feeding to the community to keep them either entertained or keep himself fanning the flames of drama for people to latch on to. What a troll. It, it is actually very fascinating. Now, some of you oh, might yeah. recall about four years ago, Nick Akato, Avocado, and myself had a tiny bit of beef. I'm talking like a Salisbury steak that. level of beef between us and... We had a bit of a Sounds tinkle bad, tussle dang. back and forth pissing contest and boo, fact check jump scare. I wanted to double check when all of that took place. So I looked at it. It turns out it was 2021 AD. Uh, it was late September. So AD. it's coming up okay, on Charlie. three years, not four. 
I was a little off on that. Time moves very weird now. Time, I, I don't know what happened, but time is moving at a different speed than it used to. After all that drama, I had actually kept up with Nikocado Avocado, occasionally just tuning in to check and see what's going on. I made a video like a year ago on a piece of content that Nick dropped where he actually did talk about a weight loss journey that he was going on. And I've kind of just been cheering him on from the sidelines ever since then, just hoping that he'd follow through on that and just to see where it all goes. So to see this come up, was not only extremely surprising, just given how much weight he had lost in a relatively short period of time. I know to a lot of people, two years, like on the internet terms, that's like ancient history. Things that happened two years ago, that might as well be the fucking void century that no one remembers. But <laughs> like speaking realistically, two years to lose 250 pounds, that's a speed run. Those are gold splits. I haven't made a video for like two years and um this is where I'm posting now, on this channel, so I hope you consider subscribing if you want. I'm actually posting more next week, so yeah, that would mean a lot to me. On his second channel, he mentions that it's been two years since he's made a video, so you can piece little breadcrumbs together in your head and follow this path here, connecting the dots. He has released videos on all of his channels over the course of two years, quite a few of them. Not to the same frequency that he used to, but he still had a ton of videos that he was releasing over yeah, the no last shit, two apparently. years. Videos that were posted two weeks ago, or even as recent as five days ago, where he is that same weight, were all apparently recorded years ago. And it's not like it's CGI and it's not AI generated yeah. content. Nick actually just had a crazy backlog, like the Library of Alexandria for mukbangs, yeah, and he no just shit. kept going to the vault to upload some of that old pre-recorded content as if it was new, and people were none the wiser. I even went through these two videos here in particular just to see if I could find like a date somewhere on like his phone or when he went to the heart attack grill, like maybe like a calendar sticking on a wall, but I didn't see anything. Maybe I missed it. I did kind of go through it like 2x speed, so maybe it like flashed by really quick and I, I just didn't see that it. Could be a possibility. But I, I do believe him that these were recorded years ago because that's the only logical explanation for how he is 250 pounds down right now, yet five days ago he has a video at the Heart Attack Grill where he's still like 400 pounds or whatever it was. Dude was playing chess while the rest of us were playing checkers. He played us like a goddamn violin. And Nick loves the violin. If many yes, of you might not remember this <laughs> yes, from the Nick Expanded Universe, the, the lore, but he was actually an incredible violin player. He was more decorated than like Captain America in terms of accolades when it came to this. Like in his field of violin, he was a very well regarded, talented player. And he came out here and just fucking Gangnam styled on us. He like he he really did play us like a sweet melody on that instrument. It was a long eight years, wasn't it? It was a long eight years, and I didn't think that it would have gone this long, but it did. And it was like a bad dream that yeah, it was like a really bad dream that we were waiting for it to be over, and it's over. It was just a dream. For a long time, Nick became synonymous with breakdowns on camera. Oh, Nick God, Nick yeah. and breakdown went together like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Amen. And that's something people talked about a lot, but then always talked about how it was always fake for views and drama and controversy. I have always somewhat believed that there was always an element of truth to some of the things Nick was saying. I really do believe that Nick was miserable with what he was doing, but felt like he had to keep doing it because that was his source of income. That was his livelihood. And he was probably very afraid to just stop doing that. Which is completely understandable because if people are subscribing to watch you eat yourself to death and you stop doing that, they might leave. And now you've got so your ass in your shit. asshole and no money being generated anymore because the audience left from you not doing the content they wanted you to be doing. Yep. And I really do feel like he felt like he was a prisoner to that for a while. I'm not trying to be an armchair psychologist here, it's just I've watched a lot of Nick's content and it really does feel like there is a lot of truth to some of the things he has said during these moments. And the way he talks about it here, calling it a bad dream, isn't exactly a glowing review of that time. You know, if someone said that to me, like, hey Charles, I know we spent eight years together, but it's kind of just like a bad dream I'm done with. I wouldn't exactly be smiling from ear to ear about that. <laughs> but now Nick has made some big changes, clearly, and 
his audience is extremely supportive. They are very receptive to this, cheering him on in a big way, pumping their fist and well, celebrating good. this. Well, that's good. The video on his main channel about it is exploding. The video on his second channel is exploding. He's made two videos and both are popping the fuck off. Wow. His community is showing nothing but love and well, oodles good. of support for this. And it's what people have said for a long time, that if Nick actually did go through this weight loss journey, it'd probably be extremely good for him. Like, not only health-wise, but like, well, yeah. in, in terms of his channels and like his community. It's inspirational. Like, people would love to see that. And I think it's clearly showing here. And it's not like Nick has to stop doing mukbangs just because he loses a lot of weight. And it seems like he is going to continue to do mukbangs because he loves doing them. We were all just dreaming. But you gonna still eat? You gonna still Cheers. eat all that copious amount of food, though? I and know. I love being a mukbanger. I love food. I like eating food, and I like being here. So let me know what you think. Just okay. because he's lost 250 pounds doesn't mean that he's washed and you need to hang the jersey in the rafters and retire his jersey number. You know, like he can still keep doing mukbangs the same way he was before, but now in a healthier place. And like I said last time when he had lost, I think it was like 89 pounds at the time, he seems happier. You know, like I, I'm, yeah. I'm not his therapist. I, I don't know Nick personally, but just from what comes across in the content, he seems happier at lower weights. Like in, in the content where he weighs less, he actually just seems like a happier person. Yeah. At least that's the impression I get watching it. So it's really something to celebrate here with what Nick has been able to accomplish. And I really am happy to see that the reception to it has been overwhelmingly positive. It is incredible work. It, like This is an effort that is extremely impressive. I'm also really curious and excited to see what Nick does going forward. If he's going to continue to do like exclusively mukbangs or maybe he's going to talk about this weight loss journey that he secretly went on for a long period of time. I'd be really interested to see like what he did to lose all of that weight so quickly. I think that'd be really interesting content if he talked about it or, you know, showcased, you know, maybe some of the things he was doing for cardio or if he was doing weight training, what that looked like. I think they'd be really good bangers, like if he made content around that as well. While still, of course, having mukbang be the bread and butter, I think it'd be cool now if he would supplement it with things about this weight loss journey. The violin, I think, would be cool to bring back because if you look at Nick's older videos, he really is like a fucking wizard with that instrument. I think there's a lot of potential and a lot of possibility with where Nick currently is. And it's nothing but positives here. So I, I wanted to talk about it a little bit. And uh, yeah, that's it. See ya. All right, Charlie. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's really good. It's really cool that he lost all that weight. Now, the few questions I do have is... Did he exercise and or did he just do liposuction? I doubt he did a lap band thing because I heard you can't even eat too much on the lap band. Uh, and how are you going to keep these? Did you see how much food he had on that thing? On that, like, how are you going to keep? Uh, I would, I, 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 I don't know how you're going to keep keep that weight loss if you eat that a huge amount of food stuff in my opinion i don't care if it is noodles noodles can be very fattening that turns into carbs and all that but other than that it's really good and is he still with orlin his husband is he still with him there was no talk about that is he behind the scenes is he moved on from this is... and another thing you had two years backlog of videos, bitch. I barely have like a day worth of like a day ahead of worth of videos. I, 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 I'm really bad about that. Like I know some YouTubers I've watched like, oh, I, I did this video a couple months back and it finally just came out. Girl, really? I, you, you have it like that. You record like that. Uh, if, tell me I need to. Do you start doing that then? Jesus Christ. You know, I got <laughs> I got life to still I got be I got father to watch after, you know. <laughs> Jesus. Um, but this is it's awesome that he lost all that weight. Um 
it just surprises me. Like you had two years of videos that you just kind of like slowly just like put out for two years while you had that just like weight loss because it took me a year. Uh, like if you get some of you know that I've lost uh, like over a hundred pounds. Now that took me like, what was it? I gained all that weight in 2019 when I was hospitalized. So from 2019 to like 2023, 2020 to end of 2024, that's when I really saw the no, like I saw that weight loss really noticeable. So that took me a few years to lose a hundred, over a hundred pounds. So, wow. I like to really see what he, and that's really good that his, uh, his community, like who watches him really supportive about that that's really cool because you never know if they're going to be toxic you know it's nick avocado avocados you know uh demographic you'll never know if they're going to be like oh supportive or they're going to be like oh we were hoping to see you you know you know what i'm saying what kind of audience he brings to the table you know you never know but let me know what you guys think about in the comments and uh yeah that's my thoughts on it i think you know good for him good for him it's gonna be better for it he yeah it, when i lost i feel so much better you know i i do feel much better when i lose a lot more weight you know when i was when i first started this channel when i i gained all that weight i used to get comments like why do you breathe so heavy bitch because i'm fat it takes a little bit more effort to breathe. So I did notice that like you could hear me really kind of breathing heavy in my earlier videos. It's really embarrassing. And um, I don't have that issue anymore because I'm not a big old fatty like I used to be. Um, not fat shaming or anything, but that's just how I feel when I gain weight. It's just, I just notice that I just, I'm not happy. I don't feel I have the same kind of energy like I do when I'm thinner. Like I have more energy now and it's just, it, it just feels a little bit better when you lose weight and stuff like that. And it feels good too because you feel like, you know, you fall back into old clothes that you haven't worn in a while. It's always a good feeling. You're like, dang, oh yeah, I used to wear this and now I get to wear it again. You know that feel? It's nice. So not like that shame like that it's just when you feel good you know when you feel good you know but anyway let me know like i said in the comments and uh yeah take care of yourself take care of each other love peace and peace and bye